Today is episode 181 of Look What Jess Found. And I have a special video for you today. I think one of the questions that penny roll hunt hunters consider on a regular basis is do I get the federal bank rolled? Rat pennies, or do I only look for customer rat pennies, right? And this is how you can tell the difference. It's very easy. Most of you probably already know. One of them comes in uh, a sealed box with penny rolls like this, um, $25, which is 50 rolls. And the other one you have to go, um, and the other one, are various looking could be anything right could be anything one of the characteristics of penny rolls as you as you'll notice is they all say pennies so that's just an observation i have never seen a penny roll that instead of it saying pennies, it says cents. Just as an observation, banks, the Federal Reserve puts their pennies in these rolls like this. So even the Federal Reserve considers one cent coins to be called pennies. Now it's, it's colloquial, but it's just, uh, don't let anybody ever tell you that a, uh, a one cent coin is not a US one cent coin is not called a penny because everybody knows that's what they're called. So I just want to throw that out there very quickly. So what we have here today is a bank or federal reserve penny uh rat penny roll from a, a box that I got from my bank. And we have one customer wrapped uh penny roll from a from a different bank this bank um i asked them for it they were kind of busy and uh, this is what they gave me so it's kind of uh serendipitous that i got and very rarely do i ever find any um copper pennies in any of these rolls so i should be able to go through it qu uh relatively quickly um, and you might say, why is that, Jess? Why why would you go through these any faster than um, a customer rat roll? And it's for what I just mentioned a minute ago. It's the um, that the fact that there's no copper. Copper pennies um, have anomalies. And you have to figure out if some if you have to figure out if the marks are post mint or mint damage, uh, mint error or post mint damage. And you gotta turn the fan out of the AC on. A little got a little warm in here. Hopefully that doesn't uh, take away from the volume. See, to me, this almost looks like a, uh, a copper scent. If it is, it'll be super rare. It's not. It's not. Yeah, sometimes I'll have my coffee in the morning. And... Um, And the caffeine makes me a little, it's half calf. Um, I think I might have had half of a cup of regular coffee in the past few weeks. Look at this beauty, it's just sticking out there. Two thousand fifteen.
Wow. So one of the things I'm going to try to do from now on is even though the um, the other key variety, oh, 84, double ear? Oh, that would have been nice. Look how hard the punch is. I wonder if it's a repunch. It could be. It's a super hard punch. I mean, you can see how... I don't know. I shouldn't say a super hard punch, but maybe the... Um, it's so pronounced that the uh, hammer pushed further into the um, planchet. What a beauty, huh? Wow. Absolute stunner. Yeah, I got my half calf here with me. Oh, nice. I just hold I do I do the shorts on these. And this one has a double one, so that's pretty cool. A double crimp roll. No value. Um, but I think uh some viewers get a kick. Oh, what's that? Has to be in the dirt, right? Jeez, man. No, it is dirt. Eat your carrots, kids. Listen to Bugs Bunny. So, what to expect in the comparison between... All right, let me look at the T and trust. Mm, no, no, no. Between a customer rolled customer wrap penny roll and a bank wrap penny roll. Well, one is um, the copper content, right? The 82 or older um, amount of copper pennies will typically be higher 23 we're gonna look for the extra V will typically be higher what is it hold on a second just has a bunch of lines down there I can tell No. So that's one. And as previously mentioned, copper pennies take a little bit, a little extra time to um, investigate than. Um, Zinc cents, newer pennies. They dark. They tend to be darker. And like I said before, have all these anomalies.
93. Nope. <clears throat> so looking for die clashes on copper pennies is way, way, way more time consuming than it is on uh, a zinc scent. For example, let's see the next. Here we go. I'll grab this one here. This is a good example. If there was a die clash here, uh, you'd be able to notice it within a split second. Because it's so clean and bright. 94. Any doubling on the reverse? No. Machine doubling, but that doesn't count. The first bay has some issues. I see that. That's minor. And again, some machine doubling on the obverse. Double ear. No. Die clash? No. It's very easy to see. So, uh, I'll check that out. I saw it already, 2007. Let's look at that. Where's my loop? I'm going to call that dirt. So as you can see, we have found no or none copper. None, we found none copper. None copper, none copper. Yeah, that caffeine's kicking in. None copper. We found none copper. And look for the extra V. No. And in general, all errors are easier to see on a cleaner, newer penny. Now, on zinc, there are very few, for some reason, I mean, unless it's, like, severely damaged like this one, but let's look at a nice, nicer one. For some reason, most of the other ones are ugly. All right, let's look at the 2013. I mean, there's not much damage on this, right? And this is, you know, 11 years old. So it, there's not much there to confuse me on what's going on with the scent. And after you look at a few thousand of them, you know. No double ear. Your eye starts to get trained to um, what? Zinc scents look like, you know, shield scents versus um, Lincoln Memorials, a white AM. So remember, the white AM is from 1993 to 2009. Right, so this is a 2000. 
So even though the, um, and that's something I'm going to have to retrain myself for, right? Because this 2005, if it has a wide AM, it's an error. Now, it's not, it might not be the key variety, right? And I didn't know that. I was going by the mat. See, this has a wide AM, so that means it's probably before 93. It's an 86, exactly. So I had to retrain myself. Oh, last, um, last penny mojo, 84. I wish there was a double ear on this too. Wow, that's a beauty. Look at that. Wow. Could be, um, I'm thinking this is either a, a dryer or it's been an, something to do with the ender. Being an ender. What a beauty. That has value, believe it or not. Dryer sense. Um, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a die cap. It's not a die cap. I take that back. It probably has something to do with being an ender. All right. Is that a hair? Get out of here. Ah, uh, kind of nice. And of course, you can see copper right off the bat. And as I mentioned previously, that is one of the um, hallmarks of... Um, and there was no copper in the other... Right, look. Those are, those are the ones we're going to look at later. Not one copper. And look at that, our first, our first penny from the next roll is a copper. Misaligned die. See, now we have to, now it's going to, see, it only took 15 minutes, less than that. And it has a um, die clash. The first, first penny, copper and die clash. So I'm going to put those pennies up. So this is what I'm going to do. Right, because there's only these three from the other roll. And that's our first, but it has a die clash. So I keep it on the on the reverse to remind myself that the um, the penny has something going on in the back. Because I'll forget in about 15, 20 minutes. And then the other pennies will go here in that blank, that blank area. The other copper pennies, excuse me. If there's no errors on them. And that's it. It's a whole nother mode now. All right, 2023, we're going to look for the extra V. It might have the extra V there next to the D. I don't think so, but I see a little indentation. No. That was... Uh, Hopeful thinking, a wishful thinking, excuse me. I remember when Eric from Keen Eye Collectibles, he's one of our members, his YouTube channel is below. He does these great um, live streams, a lot of fun. Check him out. Um, I remember when he taught me about the extra V, right? You would think, if, you, if you're new to the channel, you might think, oh, this guy, he knows a lot about pennies. Man. I, I mean, at this point, when I say I do, I mean, I, I do know a lot more than the average person or the, or the uh, uh, when someone just starts. Yes. And he also taught me about bagged. Eric from Kenai Collectibles told me a lot of things, but the two that are just relevant right now, looking at a 2023 and looking at this bag mark, I think it's a bag mark anyway. Um, yeah, so you might think, oh, you know, 2023 V, everybody knows that. I didn't know that. Ah, uh, here we go. That's nice. 
I never heard of it before. Matter of fact, I was doing wheat scents before I was doing. I was doing unsearched wheat scent rolls before I was doing bank. Uh, oh, 74S. Annealed. Oh, that's dope. That is nice. Um, so I, I didn't start doing zincs till months. Oh, wow. What a beauty. Months and months. 81D. Months and months. Wow, man. This is like... Wow, that's something. That'll be our first BU. So here we go. So we have our first BU, right? That goes to my BU rolls. This one here, I think it's going to go into the AU. Yeah. And then we'll have fine and uh, heavily circulated. Those are my uh, four um, types of penny rolls that I do. Let me see. Is something interesting on this one? Did you notice it? I'm gonna let you look at this for a second and see if you see what I what I went looking at. Um, maybe it was because we were talking about 2023s, but I was like, "Where's the VDB on this?" So it's, I guess it's because of whatever, but it's super, super right on the rim there. I thought it was pretty interesting. You almost can't see it. I don't know if that's a special error. I will put it to the side. Um, I will research it a bit. It's probably a nothing burger, but um, so I was look. I started looking through zincs right after looking through. See how they're supposed to look is like that. You can see it very. The VDB is very apparent. And um, I can't remember. I believe, yes, I believe he was a member already. I can't remember if he was a member already at this point, to be honest with you. Eric, if you remember, if, if you're watching this video, if you remember if you were a member at that point when you were instructing me on the um, V extra V on a 2023, let me know in, in the comments. Say, oh, yeah, I was or I wasn't. I, I don't remember. I put that penny in the fine. Now we have a VU, AU, and a fine, or a MS, AU, and fine. And um, so he was saying, see, that's how they're really supposed to look. Obvious. Anyway, the VDB I'm talking about. He's like, oh, you're not checking for the v, for the extra V on the 23s. Because before that, I had been doing copper um, customer rolls. And those wheat, unsearched wheat scent rolls. So when he told me that, I was like, oh, there's an extra V? And I went bananas, nuts, looking for the extra V. In every single penny. So the next video I do, which if you see it, you're going to be like, yo, what's wrong with this guy? On every single penny, I go looking for the extra V. I'm like, is there an extra V here? What's the extra V? And after I release the, if you watch that video and you look into the comments, you'll see Eric goes, no, man, they're only on the 2023s. They're not on every penny. And I go, what do you mean? I saw an extra V on the whatever. <laughs> Because in my, I really, really thought I saw extra V. I started, I started like hallucinating. <laughs> so fun! What, what a wild, uh, funny ride I've had up to this point. And uh, he goes, "No, they're only on the twenty twenty threes." And um, and again, in my mind, I saw, I saw extra Vs, but they were most like they, they not even most likely they were. Um, post mint damage or something like that or strike throughs
I'll put that with the AUs. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, this one has the uh, the strike through. And um, so he taught me that, right? And that's that's what can be learned, for example. I mean, that's just one example, obviously. But things like that, things that you didn't know, right? So if you're watching this channel, you're going to learn things you never knew before, right? In every video, maybe not in every video, but you don't need to learn something in every video, you know? You need to learn something um, here and there on a regular basis, let's put it like that. And then there was the other. That's a nice misaligned die. That's a wire rim. That's a nice example of a wire rim right there. I learned about the wire rim recently. Now, and on the reverse, the rim is flat. Okay, so let's do a little investigating on this penny. And I'll, I'm going to walk through with you, what I believe happened, because the penny's in excellent condition. It's probably like an AU um, 58, 56, 54, something like that. So why is the, see how flat it is in that area, but not in that area. That area is on the left. The left rim is normal. The right rim is flat. The right rim is flat because there's a problem with the collar. It's uh, overused. It's uh, damaged. But the collar's flat. And that has led to something, some irregularity in how the planchet is held. And as a, re as a result, some of the copper got squeezed upward and onto the rim from the edge. And that caused the error called a wire rim. And this was a very good example of that. Um, and I wasn't taught that. That I kept, I, I noticed, I used to call this a split rim. Because I didn't know it was called a wire rim. I mean, it looks like a wire around the rim. Um, and then I, while I was researching a different error, I saw a 62 if there's any doubling on the obverse, this is a, um, and the T from this distance looks, I can see the doubling on the T from here. Unless that's just a clean spot. Let me look at that real quick. All right, I'm going to say no doubling on the T. What happened is on this one, the, um, the rim, the edge of the coin is tilted. Right, you can see the um, the curve. It's curved. Jeez. And the curve is causing the illusion of it to be doubled, but it's, uh, it's not doubled. The W looks like it's doubled a little, but I'm going to say no to that. Still a very nice penny. Let's look at the reverse. Very nice. I'll put that with the uh, AUs. So, while I was researching the error, I saw 
you know, you'll, you'll, you'll come across other errors and maybe one will catch it. So the wire rim error caught my attention. And when I saw a picture of it, I was like, oh my God, I've seen many and many of those types of errors. And it explained it. And, and I understood afterwards why the edge Boy, it looks like a perfect circle. Looks that way on copper cents, mostly copper cents. Yeah, we found a lot of copper in this one. It's a nice roll. Very nice roll. I'm going to look at that under the loop. It's actually dirt. Duh. No surprise there. And the reverse looks... No, the ver I think that's dirt also on the reverse. But it was centered. I don't think so. Is that a die clash in there? Maybe. I'm not going through all that. And we have our first. Now we have, if you want to see the process, my process, we got the zincs. We have the um, heavily circulated, the fine, the AU, and the mint state pennies, which we just so happened to have gotten all out of one roll, right? And then as you'll see over here, these rolls represent zinc, heavily uh, copper, heavily circulated copper, fine, AU and mint state pennies and that's how I that's that's how I do I do's it I do's it that way <clears throat> so if you put if you watch my videos if you're newer to the channel and to coin roll hunting my suggestion would be go to you know this is episode, ooh, what a beauty. That's a BU. What a, and it's, it's a die clash. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see it in there. What a stunner. And, um, and you will learn a lot about penny roll hunting if you watch my video. I'll put that with the AUs. Uh, penny roll hunting. And you see how quick we went through this? We went through it, and that's because the first roll, uh, the pennies are easier to um, go through. We went through it in about 15 minutes. Nineteen ninety-five. If there's any doubling on the obverse, it's considered a key variety. I don't see any doubling. Wow, that's a bright one. I'll put that with the other one from uh, the first roll.
94. No. It was a no doubling. It's a D anyway. This is a copper? What do you think? Yeah, I think it's copper. Probably late 70s, early 80s, or it could be a 62. <laughs> if there's any doubling on the obverse, that would be a key variety. I'll look at it under the loop. That was a surprise. Very nice condition. I guess that's what. The T's got something at the top. The U, hard to tell. Let me look at this. I am looking at this. Why did I say that? Ah, the G's got, I think, yeah, yeah, the N. Oh, nice, 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 nice. It's a dirty one. It's a dirty one. It's a dirty one. But I think there are, there's doubling. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a rag real quick. I want, I'd love to see what that is at the top. I want to see if that comes off on the top of the T, but the U looks like it might have a little doubling, right? The R, the W, the G's got a little bit on the bottom. You see it there? It has a little double die right on the bottom. And look at the N and I. Nice. Very nice. But let's look at that at the top of the T. That is interesting. Now, this is a pretty dirty one. Again, um, I would probably uh, clean this. I ordered the... Um, it's probably at the post office already. Wow, let me look at that under the loop. That is so interesting. Well, it's 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 one of three things, right? It has something to do with the doubling, which I've never seen one like that before. It's a cud, right? It's a piece off the rim that got pushed forward, or it's a die chip. Or, or I have to clean it, and it's just an anomaly. So I guess it could be four things. But regardless, I think this is a, let me get a little piece of paper. And a pen. Uh, we're going to call this a key variety. DDO. All right, needs uh, cleaning. Because like the, that little mark, it, it, can't, it can't have the dirt around it. You know what I'm saying? So you might say, no, don't clean it, Jess. Uh, it's, it, 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 makes the, it makes the sale difficult. You know what I mean? And again, if you know how to clean, which I don't, by the way. Eh, that's the funny part. Um, I shouldn't say I don't. I mean, I did watch the videos. That's a nice machine double. Uh, Whatever, yeah, I'm going to call that machine doubling. <sighs> 94, we're looking for um, doubling on the reverse. Nope. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned anything today and you're still here after 40 minutes, 84, double ear? Ah, mm, no. See, at that angle, it looks like a double ear. I'm going to say no to that. If it is, it's super weak. Yeah, if you're new to the channel and you learned something today, 
been a die clash. It might be a die clash. It's, again, very weak. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Hey, wire rim uh, bagged. Key variety. Um, and God bless. I'll see you in uh, video 182. This is video 181. Oh, wow. Is that blue? Has I shouldn't say has to. You never say has to be. Because you never know. I'll put that to the side. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh boy. What a day, man. What a day. I tell you. YouTube videos are not, they're not easy. Maybe that's why not too many people do them. They're not, not that easy. Kind of tiring, actually. You know, you get tired doing these things. Ugh. Oh, is this thing still on? Hello? Wow. Well, if you're still here, I didn't go over the recap. You know, the whole point of the video was that the difference between um, the bank wrap rolls and uh, customer wrap rolls. There was no copper whatsoever in the... Um, the bank wrap roll was all zinc. And we only found really one error. That's a crimp roll. And that was just an interesting, uh, very shiny penny. So really nothing, not much there. And a lot of people I think do not like um, bank wrap rolls. I'm not crazy about them, but they're very fast. You can go through them quickly. So that might be the attraction to them. You know, you can get through probably... I know, again, not to beat a dead horse or anything, but I know Eric said he can do like a box a week. That's banana. Or did he say, or did you say two boxes a week, Eric, if you're still there? That's nuts. That is nuts, man. That's my original box from months ago. And I am, I'm more than halfway through it. I'll probably do a special video on my last roll. Um, but then on the customer submitted role, look at this. I mean, this is, I don't want to say I live for this stuff, but as far as the um, coin roll hunting goes, penny roll hunting, this is like, you know, I'm making these special rolls, right? And these MS pennies, um, they sell for about 50, right now they sell for about 50 cents each. You know what that is? To find one penny that is worth the whole roll, that's that's um, for me. That's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. All right, and then we found these. These all had errors on them, some sort of error. This one's blue, and then we found this um, key variety. I think it's a key variety. You know, we'll clean it up. We'll look at it and. Um, We'll revisit this at a future point.
and um, I got my <laughs> and I only use them for close up. Um, I do have driving glasses also. It's for night though. Um, sometimes I use it, but in a very bright day, I can't. I have to use sunglasses. I have to get sunglasses. They are they are the specially tinted ones, but I need like dark uh, glasses. I'm a little light sensitive. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to say um, thank you to everyone who's still here after 46 minutes. <clears throat> I want to say thank you to all of our members. Eric, of course, who I've mentioned multiple times. Um, Sheila. Sandra. Otis. And um, Donald. All right. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you in episode 182.